Hello and welcome everyone to the Satvik Code. Today we are going to discuss is it safe to exercise with rheumatoid arthritis. Millions of people are suffering from this disease called rheumatoid arthritis across the world and we understand why it is extremely important to stay active and maintain a regular exercise regime in order to control this disease rheumatoid arthritis. And especially when we, uh, the pain levels are so aggressive that it is absolutely crucial to maintain a proper and consistent exercise in order to control the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. So if you'd like to know more about this, make sure to subscribe this channel and uh, hit the bell icon and let's get started. So let's discuss the following 10 points in order to ensure the safety of your joints while you are exercising. So the first and foremost that you need to consider is you need to consult a rheumatologist or your physiotherapist so that they can guide you what should be the exercise that you need to follow. Like when if you have uh, suffered this disease called rheumatoid arthritis and uh, even your joints have deformed in the process then it is extremely crucial to uh, visit a physiotherapist who can guide you if because gentle exercise will help in uh, in uh, repair of the joints and maintaining the flexibility but if you are if you do not receive proper guidance and if the exercise is very uh, severe and intense it may end up damaging the joint and individual, according to individual situation, uh, some, some people may have very aggressive form of rheumatoid arthritis and others may have mild form of rheumatoid arthritis. So according to individual situation, doctors will be able to prescribe a proper exercise regime which is safest for at that particular situation for that particular patient. The second point that I would like to discuss is focus on low impact exercises. Low impact exercises like walking, swimming, cycling, tai chi, gentle yoga sessions because these are the exercises that puts low impact on your joints but has a very high result when it comes to improving your flexibility and improving your strength. The main important thing is to be consistent in your exercise re regime. So when very less impact is put on joints and at the same time you're getting a very good result and in improving the blood circulation around the joints, it will have much better result in terms of healing. The third point that I would like to discuss is importance of warm up and cool down before and after your workout sessions. Warm-up plays a very crucial role, especially if your joints are stiff and sore. But when we ensure that you are following proper warm-up and cool-down routines before and after your workout, it will ensure proper blood circulation and your muscles and joints will be very flexible as well as it will ensure that your joints are not very stiff and sore post, the, post your workout sessions. The fourth point is balance between rest and activity. Yes, it is extremely important to stay active, but taking proper rest whenever you feel tired or whenever pain levels has increased is also extremely important. The mistake that I made in my healing journey is that sometimes I would feel very tired and pain levels would increase a lot but still I would push myself to stay active and still I would push myself to work out. But the, after the workout session my pain level will, would have been increased much much than, more than before because our joints tend to be sensitive and when we push too hard the damage tends to increase. This is the reason we need to find balance. So balance is the key between activity and rest. The fifth point would be to incorporate strength training exercises. Building muscles around your joint can help to support the joint as well as improve joint functionality. But it is very important that you work with a trained professional if you are choosing to go to gym. And uh, if your rheumatoid arthritis level is 
very mild and you know that you are fit to exercise and work out and do strength training workout then do give it a try but make sure that you are not over exerting yourself and not taking too much stress and pushing yourself to exercise sixth point would be to opt for joint friendly stretching stretching has been very important part for in my healing journey especially as soon as i wake up and uh, before going to sleep i would choose to do some few stretching exercises like at least 5 to 10 minutes it helps in improving the flexibility uh, improving blood circulation you also tend to feel very energetic uh, it is extremely important to keep your joints healthy with the help of uh, stretching exercises which are gentle but do take care that you don't do push yourself and uh, do extreme stretches just to gentle stretches according to your capacity understand your limitations and accordingly you have to design a uh, stretching exercise regime for yourself in order to stay consistent with it seventh point would be to use proper support equipment for your joints for example if you have ankle pain issues Uh, then uh, before your workout sessions you can if you are going out for walking uh, do uh, choose a very good ergonomical designed uh, shoes or footwear uh, which has proper uh, support arch support it will help in uh, reducing the pain impact of pain on your joints so invest in good equipments that can support your joints in case of extreme deformities Eighth point would be to avoid high impact activities. High impact activities like jumping, running very fast. Suppose if your uh, ankle joint is uh, has jo- inflammation, swelling, joint pain, and when you do activities like skipping, which involves jumping, or very high intensity workout, which involves fast movements, and you have not done enough warm up also, that will cause that may cause a damage so it is very important you slowly uh, progress in your exercise routine but uh, avoid uh, this high impact uh, high strenuous exercises uh, in, during the initial stage of your workout the ninth point would be to listen to your body uh, suppose in your exercise routine you develop unusual pain and extreme tiredness then visit your doctor as soon as possible and don't try to self medicate or uh, uh, try to guide yourself in this in this stage because ex- uh, immediate attention is absolutely crucial so listen to your body take rest and whenever the pain is intense do uh, try to change your workout re- uh, routine and adopt to and try to adapt to your current situation and modify your workout routines accordingly you know you don't have to be extremely rigid and stick to a particular routine but you have to be flexible and listen to your body with love the 10th and final point would be to stay consistent and patient yes results may take time especially in case of rheumatoid arthritis people ask me how long it will take to heal this disease rheumatoid arthritis but it everything depends on your consistency so be consistent and uh, also be patient be patient with yourself in order to see the imp- the, the result in long term so when you focus on long term benefit and uh, sacrifice your short term happiness like sometimes you will feel very lazy to exercise but when you give yourself that little push and do little even 5 minute warm up or stretching that will give you a very instant happiness boost so living with rheumatoid arthritis doesn't mean you have to give up on being active yes exercise can help you to control this disease effectively so make sure that you consult physiotherapist or a doctor before you choose a uh, any exercise or workout routine for yourself by following all the 10 points that i mentioned in this video you will ensure safest and effective way to work out and exercise while uh, while healing this disease rheumatoid arthritis uh, so make sure to follow all the points mentioned in this video and uh, also make sure to subscribe 
uh, this channel if you found this helpful and also share this video if you find it helpful and helpful for others as well who may be suffering from this disease so see you for now and uh, see you in the next video till then keep moving and stay active and be happy bye bye